Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Ram and Ram 1500 headquarters. And today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2021 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Short Box Bighorn Level 2 with the Sport Appearance Group in Patriot Blue Metallic. Uh, really good looking color. We're going to do a walk around here, go over all the options, uh, but mainly just to show you this Patriot Blue color. Um, we actually did a Hydro Blue, which is the other blue that Ram offers on the uh, 1500 trucks. And if you want to check out that video, it's identical to this truck, so it'll be a very similar walk around. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. This one has the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi motor, which is going to get you 21 miles per gallon on the highway, 15 city, and an average of 17 miles per gallon. And like I said, this is Patriot Blue Metallic, really good looking color. And we shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling and the color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. This one has special rims and tires on it that um, are extra to the normal Bighorn package. Uh, they are the 20 inch alloys with the chrome covers. And this one has Bridgestone Dueler. HL tires. These are 275 55R20s. They definitely have a highway tread pattern to them. And uh, we'll just go around the truck, go over some of the options. The Sport Appearance Group gives you the painted front bumper. You also get the front bumper parking sensors in the front there, factory fog lights, the blacked out grille, chrome RAM logo. It's part of the Bighorn package. Those front bumping bumper parking sensors are part of the Bighorn Level 2 group. In fact, we'll check out the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not going to go over everything, but just some of the main points. So this one has the 5.7 liter Hemi, 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything on the left-hand side here is standard equipment. And then your optional equipment starts right here, including the blue Patriot Blue Pro Coat, which is 100 bucks. The Sport Appearance Group is $12.95, and it gives you the interior black accents. Also, the Bighorn Level 2 Group is $2,500. Now, this gives you quite a bit um, for that $2,500. You get the in-floor storage in back, the charging USB ports, the receiver hitch, 115 volt front and rear outlet. The 8.4 touchscreen, which gives you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, also has the dual climate control. This one gives you the heated seats and heated steering wheel group, as well as those front and rear park sense sensors, power driver seat, adjustable pedals, and power folding mirrors. Also, the power sign rear window, remote start system, and Sirius XM for six months. This one has the anti spin differential installed as well. It's $495. The Hemi's $17.95 and the rear wheelhouse liners are $195. Those special rims and tires are $15.95 and the total MSRP is $52,660. If you want to check out your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there. The warranty on this vehicle is 3 year 36 bumper to bumper, 5 year 60. And then your MPGs are right there. The thing for the Rams for me is the safety ratings, 5 and 4 stars up and down the board. Very safe trucks. I uh, definitely feel comfortable taking your family anywhere in this vehicle. We'll continue the walk around here. Those wheelhouse liners are these things right here, these plastic pieces, which keeps your frame and underbody looking good. So all the rams are equipped with rear springs, um, which gives you a lot smoother ride when you're not loaded down, which a lot of people use these trucks just to hop around town. Sport uh, sticker right there. That's just a decal. If you didn't like it, you could always remove it so it's not painted on or anything. With the Hemi, you get the dual rear exhaust with the chrome tips, full towing package, which includes a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You get those backup parking sensors. They're cleverly hidden in the plastic applique there. The tailgate looks really good you get the bighorn logo the ram logo and the 4x4 this is a shot down assist tailgate so it'll never slam down on you which is really nice um, this one is just the normal bed doesn't have led bed lighting or anything like that
The other nice option on the Rams is that it does have the capless fuel fill, so you're never going to get gas on your hands ever again. Oh, also bed rail covers. Every Ram comes equipped with bed rail covers, so keeping your investment looking good down the road. They're always thinking. Has the heated mirrors, directional signals, blind spot mirrors, and it also has the power fold in option, which is this button right here. Just press that and they fold on in. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. The doors are trimmed with the dark wood grain trim. The cloth bolsters has the auto headlamps, power pedals, and then the seats are the dark charcoal with the black sides uh, cloth seats. Both of these seats are heated, power driver seat, and this one does have lumbar for the driver seat as well. Factory floor mats throughout on this truck, power pedals, auto headlamps, tilt, and telescopic steering wheel. We'll turn the ignition on here so you can see the animation there. Only 13 miles on this truck. You have the seven inch digital display here, including the compass. You can do outside temp, has the digital speedometer. Um, you can change all four of those corners to read pretty much whatever you'd like, um, which is really neat. It has a bunch of information. It has the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, as well as the gear selector. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. It does have the audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. It has a nice Ram logo right there. What I like about Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is they make all their steering wheels almost identical. Obviously not the Ram on a Jeep or whatever, but they're all set up, laid out the same, so you can hop in one vehicle to the next, and you're always going to have the same controls, which is, in my opinion, pretty nice. Push button start has the 8-speed automatic transmission with the push-button four-wheel drive. This one has the 8.44C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on this truck. You also have your climate controls here. So you can do dual climate controls. You can also do your heated seat and heated steering wheel buttons right here. And then it has the backup camera, which is a really nice feature as well. And there's a couple nice features to this. Number one, these grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they turn as you turn that steering wheel. Also, this center line is lined right up with your receiver hitch. And when you get right up to the receiver hitch with whatever you're gonna to be towing on your boat, camper, or trailer, press the plus button right there, and it'll zoom in right over your receiver hitch so you can get hooked up to your camper, boat, or trailer the first time, every time, without any help which is really nice and handy. The other thing on this radio is it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you can project your cell phone to the screen. So if you have a navigation system on your cell phone, such as Waze or Google Maps, you can project it to the screen, and then it's just like you have nav on the screen. We actually did a demo on an 8.4 with uh, Android Auto. If you want to check that out, it's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Uh, check that video out right there. You do get the wood grain trim on the top. There's a 12 volt power point as well as a little tray right there to uh, put coins or whatever you may want to put there. Down here, your more tactile climate controls and audio controls, including a volume and tune, heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons as well, and your dual climate controls. Stability control, tow haul, front and rear parking sensors. You can turn those off if you don't like them. Um, you also have two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack cell phone holder another little cubby here and then you do get a 115 volt 100, 400 watt plug-in there's storage underneath there you get the sliding cup holder with the coin slots right there keyless entry remote start nice bulky key fob you're always going to know which key fob you have in your pocket dual glove boxes you get the big horn logo on that one and the headliner is black map lights, power slide and rear window button, and then your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around here. I think we pretty much covered everything. The back seats have the same design as the front seats. You get the latch child safety system for any child car seats. You get the power slide and rear window with the built-in rear defrost. 
has the cup holders right here. The other neat thing about the crew cab is that you have three spots of latch anchors, so you can put a car seat in any of those spots, which is nice, especially if you need three car seats. Back here you got two USBs, two USB-Cs, and then a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. These seats do fold up for extra storage, and you get a flat load floor back here, which is nice if you have pets. They have a nice flat place to lay, and they're not wrecking your seats. Um, or if you're a hunter, you can put your shotguns back here, and they're not going to roll around on the hump. Um, or boots, tools, put them on the flat load floor, and you're not going to you're not going to get your seats dirty. In floor storage on each side, so you get two of these. Uh, removable containers for easy cleaning. You can put ice and drinks in there and then dump them out uh, when you're all done. And lastly, you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. The other thing I like about these back seats is that these seats don't lock. They, uh, they just kind of click into place, which is really handy, especially like if you're taking a video. You don't have to do a latch or anything like that makes it really easy to get them up and down and then these back headrests do fold down you can also remove them for better visibility if nobody's riding back there the back doors are trimmed out just like the front doors you get the wood grain and the cloth bolsters and then you also have the child safety locks on the back doors we'll do one more final walk around here and i would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this hd video you will have gotten a really good idea of uh, the Patriot Blue Color, the Bighorn Level 2 Group, as well as the Sport Appearance Group. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got it. And you guessed it, go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more Ram 1500 truck videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Short Box Bighorn Level 2, Sport Appearance Group, and Patriot Blue Metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video.